Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Poco F3 versus the Poco F2 Pro and guys, the Poco F2 Pro is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset with the 8 GB of RAM while the Poco F3 is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 chipset with the 8 GB of RAM as well. On the back, we have a triple cameras on the Poco F3 while on the Poco F2 Pro, we have a quad cameras on the back. We have a 64 megapixel main camera while on the F3, we have 48 megapixel main camera. So I am really, really excited to see that how much a difference between a Poco F2 Pro versus a Poco F3. So without any wasting time, let's get right into it. And guys, and both phones is completely off. Now let's see the boot up test. Here we go. And the logo is here exactly the same on both phones. And guys, also we have Android 11. And also we have a MIUI version 12.5. And you can see, and the Poco F2 Pro it is more faster when it comes to booting up. While the Poco F3, now it is also done and you can see about 4 or 5 second difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up. And guys you can see that and both phones has a very different display. We have a Full HD AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate on the Poco F3. While on the Poco F2 Pro we have a Full HD AMOLED display with a 60Hz refresh rate, no high refresh rate display and also we get a punch hole on the Poco F3 which is also very very small on the F3 while on the Poco F2 Pro we get a pop-up selfie camera and as you can see that we get a pop-up selfie camera on the Poco F2 Pro so that's a really unique thing on the F2 Pro and guys also we have a MIUI version 12.5 on the F3 so guys everything is closed up in the background and you can see no application is running in the background so now let's start off with the phone dialer that is exactly the same on both phones so next on the list is the settings that is again exactly the same now let's go display on both phones and you can see we have 120 hertz refresh rate on the poco f3 while on the f2 pro who does not have high refresh rate display so now let's check out some more application now let's see amazon shopping on both phones again we have a snapdragon 870 versus a snapdragon 865 fast a little bit on the poco f3 so now let's see the scrolling very smooth on the Poco F3 because we have 120 hertz refresh rate as compared to 60 hertz. So now let's check out some games application. Now let's start off with the Candy Crush Saga on both phones. Faster on the Poco F2 Pro, and you can see as compared to the F3, about half a second difference there. Instagram, little bit more faster on the F2 Pro. And guys, now let's see the pinout on both phones. Next game application exactly the same on both phones no difference there guys now let's see pubg mobile on both phones let's see we have any difference and you can see exactly the same on both phones which is obvious and you can also see the fps as well on both phones let's see snapchat exactly the same let's see spotify again very similar on both phones let's see temper and two and faster and you can see again very similar on both phones and you can see now let's opening up the tutor that is exactly the same as well zedge Faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the F2 Pro. Now let's see the scrolling again much smoother on the Poco F3 because we have 120Hz refresh rate and also you can see that I see a lot of lags on the Poco F2 Pro and you can see and last time I launched the cameras on both phones default camera app so let's see which one is going to be the fastest one here we go and you can see that is very similar on both phones no difference there Okay guys, now let's see internet ball speed. I am seeing for Google Chrome on both phones. Now let's see Wikipedia. That is, and you can see very similar on both phones. Now let's see the scrolling. Again, much smoother on the Poco F3 because we have 120Hz refresh rate as compared to normal 60Hz on the F2 Pro. And next on the list is the Apple.com. 
and that is faster on the and you can see f3 at the end very similar on both phones now let's see the scrolling again much smoother on the poco f3 because we have 120 hertz refresh rate as compared to 60 hertz and the touch response it is also really fast on the f3 as well because we have a higher touch sampling rate as well so guys now let's see ram expand on both phones again we have 8 gb of ram on both phones now let's see that who is performed really good in the RAM management. Now let's start off with the phone dialer and you can see I see lag on the F2 Pro. Let's see phone dialer, no refresh. Let's see settings, no refresh. Amazon shopping and it is a in-app refresh. Let's see Candy Crush Sega, no refresh. Instagram, let's see pin out. Let's see PUBG Mobile, no refresh. Let's see Snapchat. Let's see Spotify, let's see Temper and 2, again no refresh on both phones and RAM is really really good on both phones. So now let's see the tutor, no refresh, Zedge. Last we are back to the internet browser where if we left and you can see. And guys over I have to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that and the game app during time it is little bit more faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the Poco F2 Pro. I would say that in system based application and both phones is performed very similar as well as in the game app during time but I would say not all the time. In terms of the RAM management wise access you can see that in both phones is performed very similar in the RAM management. So that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Poco F3 versus the Poco F2 Pro. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will catch you in my next video. Peace out.